Iron Mountain Mountaineers fell just one game short of playing for a state title last season, and this season they've barely got a chance to play at all. Tonight, the Mountaineers suited up for just the second time this, this fall. They hosted Gwynn in the district semis, and it was a chance for them to remind everyone that they're still pretty good. Let's go to Mountaineer Stadium for the game between the Mountaineers and the Model Towners. First quarter, no score. The Iron Mountain defense setting the tone early. On third down, Lucas Maxson and Joey Dumay get to the quarterback for the sack. Model Towners go three and out. That's going to lead to this Caleb Berkland 48 yard run to the house. He looked very energized tonight. It's 7 0 Iron Mountain. Later, Eli Lofholm. Under center for the Mountaineers, he's going to hand it to Berkland, and once again, he's going to break a tackle, throw a stiff arm, and he scampers into the end zone. It's 13 zip Mountaineers. Second quarter, Mountaineers in the Wildcat. Caleb Vavasovich Hines showing off his arm. That's right on the money to Bryce Petrantonio. Then it's going to be Loaf home once again on the rollout. He's going to find Dumay, and he's going to get his feet down into the end zone. Iron Mountain advances to their district final with a 56-8 win over Gwynn. Let's go to Westwood where the Patriots were playing host to the Nagani Miners. First quarter, we're tied at zero. Gerald Johnson off the play action. He's going to throw it up to Eli Lukala, and that guy's a big boy, and the Westwood defender will have no chance at that. Miners get on the board, 7-0. Second quarter, the extra enticing, exciting one-yard run into the end zone by Nash Hillier. Going to put the Miners up two scores. After yet another Nagani score to make it 21-0, Westwood going to find a little life. Travis Uren going to corral the squib kick. The Miners converge, but Uren, he's very slippery, breaks free, and there he goes. He could go all the way to the end zone. A kickoff return for the touchdown to get Westwood on the board. But it's Nagani who will move on to the district final, defeating the Pats 42-14. They're going to play Calumet next week in the district finals. The Calumet Copper Kings, they go to Menominee tonight and leave with a 29-14 victory. In a very epic ending to the game between Sault Ste. Marie and Ludington, the Blue Devils winning it at the buzzer when Jacob Davey going to find Callan Campbell in the back of the end zone as the clock hits zero. And in eight player football, Cedarville edges Rapid River tonight, 28 to 20. We have one high school volleyball score for you. Manaseek wins the district championship in th or three sets to one, excuse me, over Boston.